And we're in for a fast-paced game today, it seems. These teams like to get out on the break and run as much as possible. breakdown for the Hawks but well, we're in the era of the three-point basket so if you want to win games in this league you have to connect from deep and they have been thus far and getting to the inside is really important but it's how close you can get to the basket it feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight there's Bogdanovich with the three connects from downtown Bogdanovich has got 10 points <laughs> he still hasn't missed Four for four to start the game. Driving to the basket. Great man. That's good. All the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. They have really been in control of this one. You don't want to get complacent here. Outside Holiday. Oh, it's stolen by Oladipo. And they're on the run. Here's Rain Man. And good. Coming on the setup by Oladipo. He's got five. Oladipo playing a couple years at point guard in Orlando when he started his career, showing off his passing ability there. Holiday passes to Collins. And the Hawks with another three. They've really built this lead on the back of their perimeter game. Well, a lot of importance placed on outside shooting. And tonight you can see why after that kind of quarter exploding from the perimeter. Butler with the bucket. That is a tough two right there from Butler. Really his calling card. Rugged play and 100 percent effort. And the Hawks going from the Eastern Conference Finals to the eighth seed via play in. A bit of a step backwards last year. Yeah. You know growing as a young team has its ups and downs. Hawks know they can be better than the eighth seed. They now have an expectation of a playoff caliber ball club. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes you difficult to defend. Bogdanovich from long range. He missed there. His first misfire in five tries. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Butler finds hero. To the left side wing. Here's Rain Man. Misses the three. Oladipo on the wing. Launches a three. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got four rebounds now. Bogdanovich passes to Collins. He can't get it to go. And Miami will go the other way with it. And going against Atlanta, their first meeting on the year. The team they beat in round one of the playoffs last season. Now, those guys will be looking for some serious payback. Rain Man. Oh, and team better than Miami at developing undrafted prospects. I mean, for key roles, too. You look at last year's playoffs. Struess, Martin, Vincent, Robinson. It's allowed Miami to stay on top in a salary cap-driven league. Martin, he's checked in for Miami. Struess comes in for Hero. Miami has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Great man. That's good. He's got ten. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. They absolutely want to add to what's already a big lead. No question, B.A. No reason to let up. Just keep playing your game. Pass to Holiday. The three. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Here's Rain Man. Fires from deep. Rebounded by Johnson. And so it's Atlanta with it. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Another three for Atlanta. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's Rain Man. He buries it from three. Uh, feels like the other four guys have disappeared at this point. He wants to be the one to get them back. Pass to Johnson. Fires the three. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist in this one. He gets it off. No good. Misses at the buzzer. And so it's Bogdan Bogdan.
Great to have you with us. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. Boy, a very convincing performance so far from the Hawks. Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Pretty prime example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. When you do it, that's the kind of thing that happens. On the court for Miami here in the second. Marriott 7 out there with Caleb Martin. Then there's Victor Oladipo. Then it's Max Struess. And it's Rain Man in at the one. From deep, Johnson. Miami grabs the miss. Yurt Seven's got his fifth rebound in this one. Rain Man, that's good. He's got 17. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Miami is very efficient. Coach Spolster said, quote, you want to maximize your offense in all the different ways in your menu without feeling like you're taking turns. I don't think anyone would say that about our team. They're an unselfish group that likes sharing the ball, and they enjoy each other's success. Brian? Allie, thank you. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. Young, the pass to Kaminsky. Back to Young. Holiday with the ball. Launches it. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got assist number five here tonight. Just do your work. Try to get open, and Trey's going to find you. Here's Rain Man. Akangwu with the rebound. Coaches loathe empty possessions. You gotta be able to hit the easy ones. I mean, Trey Young, do you love the confidence? I mean, he is boiling over with it. Holiday finds Young. Six on the shot clock. Holiday has the open look. Miami grabs the miss. Your seven's got rebound number seven tonight. And Young will challenge your defense from every distance, Brent. Now look, this guy, B.A., has unlimited range, has an elite floater game, and you bring in two guys defensively, and he'll find the option that's open. The kick out to Johnson. Let's it go from deep. The shot comes out, and Miami will go the other way with it. Defeated by Washington in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. It's just so difficult to win as they did. Yeah, it's not always just about free throw shooting, but it can be a large factor in your confidence. It's early in the season, but we're already seeing some teams fall short of expectations. Grant, what do these teams need to do to get back on track? Well, first of all, they just, they have to relax. They can't panic. It's still early in the season. But, of course, it's on the leaders of each team to set the tone. They need to make sure everyone is locked in and on the same page. Smooth finish off a terrific feed. Man, the timing and execution couldn't have been any better right there. Young with it. A 35-point game for him in the win against the Rockets in Houston. And guys, what impressed me most was his passing. He constantly looked for the open man and found guys in great spots. Outside Bogdanovich. The Hawks again cannot hit it. For Miami, they've gone four for six here in the second. Here's Rain Man. No good from outside. Well, after getting off to a great start, hitting those first two shots, he's definitely regressed a little bit in this quarter. Young can't hit. Miami has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Young. Here's Rain Man. That's in! Coming off an assist from Young. 22 points for him. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, I mean, to get a shot like that on a drive, oh, it's those type of plays that will chip away at the lead. Here's Rain Man, guarded by Young. The shot by Rain Man, no good. And for Atlanta, they're shooting about 56% in this one. Offensive rebound, and Thaddeus Young gets the whistle that time. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks up 15 points as this quarter concludes, building this lead up in large part because of how well they're shooting.
Greetings, everybody. We love exciting. And this game is delivered as we've seen two top players battling mano a mano. When you can put up the points that MP can, you know you're going to get a lot of attention on the offensive end. Kind of reminds me of somebody I know. As long as MP doesn't start forcing shots and getting in his own head, he'll continue to put up big numbers just like I did as he's chasing the scoring title. I have two of those. And circling back to the game at hand, guys, the deficit is looming large right now for the Heat. When you look at their multiple areas of weakness, for me, it starts with their perimeter defense. Disorganization, chaos, a lot of wide open looks. They have to communicate better and stay connected to the shooters. And that's a wrap on it. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. to Rain Man. Out to the wing. And there's a pick. Over to the left wing. Takes a three. Trains the triple. Well, he's been carrying them all night on offense, but at some point, he's going to need some help. Well, after the first round exit in 22, the Hawks front brass admitted perhaps they've been too complacent with the roster. So that changed this summer, trading for an all-star, DeJounte Murray. He can make a big impact with his two-way talent. The perimeter pair is Bogdanovich and Hunter. John Collins out there with Onyeka Kongwu. And it's Young in at the one spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. And there's the drive. And he drains the quick shot. Bogdanovich has got eight points here in the quarter. What a performance on the offensive end. He's making the defenders pay right now for all of the mistakes they're making. Pass to Rainman. Now here's Deadman. Rejected by a Kongwu. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Outside Young. Collins inside. The kick to Hunter. Beyond the arc. Another three for Atlanta. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown. Now I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one errant pass. Holiday's checked in for the Hawks. Geert Sevens checked in for Miami. Oladipo comes in for Young. Here's Hunter. And he hits it from nine feet. Hunter's got ten points. Well, Hunter... in for Lowry. And Miami has possession. Pass to Struess. Here's Rain Man. To halt the run. And that's two points on the layup. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Hunter finds Collins. And a miss there on the triple. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. You're seven with the ball. Lays it up and banks it in. Your seven's got four points in the quarter. The value of good ball movement isn't lost on this squad. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Yeah, a double-digit deficit. They're going to have to play better. They need more of this kind of aggressive play. Oh, a nice shot by Collins. Yeah, you could tell Hunter knew he was open, did not hesitate to find him. For Miami, they've gotten five of ten shots to go. Here's Rain Man, guarded by Young. And the bucket counts, and he is. Are you crazy? Where's the foul? 
So for the Hawks, Kaminsky comes in for John Collins. And it's Johnson in for Hunter. And Miami with a change here, too. Martin, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. Holiday against Oladipo. Holiday passes to Johnson. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got his fifth assist in this one. They've had a hard time shutting down the three point shot. Rainman uses the glass on the layup. 30 points in the game. He makes it look effortless out there. Until the defense actually presents a challenge for him, expect those kind of results. Here's Young. And again, it's Atlanta. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. They should continue to ride the hot hand. And you know what, Trey Young? He almost embraces being the villain to other teams' fan bases. It's like he feeds off the fans heckling him on the road. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Outside Young. From eight feet away. And the Hawks tack on two more. Grant, as you said, with Young. He's been the villain in the playoffs more than a few times. Yeah, B.A., players who can embrace that are good for the NBA. Trey Young has fun being a thorn as a visiting player, and he always backs it up with his play. And the ball. Bruce against Johnson. Here's a Kong Wu. Boom! He jams it straight down. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble paying off. Here at seven, finds Struce. Here's Rain Man. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got his fourth rebound in this one. He gets as much talk, not just about his shot selection, but his playmaking. Here's Rain Man. Here's your seven. And he lays it up and in. Your seven's got six in the quarter. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. And the basket by Holiday. And when you've got your opponent down, you don't want to take your foot off the pedal. This is what great players try to do. They're not allowing the opposition to gain any kind of hope to try and get back in the game. You're seven, a screen on Holiday. And the Heat, another three. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. 30 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Kaminsky against your seven. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be Trey Young and Miami also making a switch. Hero, he's checked in for Oladipo. So it's Miami now. Pass to your seven. Shoots over Kaminsky. Good on the baseline, Jay. Your seven's got eight. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on all cylinders. Outside Johnson takes the three, and the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, he's really making it rain out there, knocking them down one after another. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. What a game from deep, making five trays. We'll be right back. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth quarter. They've got Duncan Robinson, Gabe Vincent out there with Omer at seven, and it's Rain Man in at the point guard. Six to shoot. Blocked! Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. 
what's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away, but at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four or five years there, too. Superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course, Grant. <laughs> and Robinson doing some work inside at 6-7. He could do that. Kaminsky finds Holiday. Left side, Holiday. Oh, deflected. Here's Vincent. Here's Rainman. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. Give him 35. Man, he's on fire. Playing patient basketball, not forcing shots. Three-pointer, Holiday. It's rebounded by your seven. Your seven's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Pass to Robinson. Here's Rain Man. Now your seven. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Well, they're all off. And that one misses. Here's Rain Man. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Allie LaForce, Brent Perry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. We'll see you next time.